Hi everyone, so uh, back with you here with another uh, update on my uh, journey with this uh, very inexpensive yet capable FlySky FSI6 uh, transmitter. Uh, so very early on when I when I uh, purchased this, um, you know, I knew that there was uh, free firmware uh, available for this uh, transmitter to upgrade it to uh, actually have 10 channels, uh, a whole bunch of uh, RSSI things, uh, telemetry, uh, the main thing I wanted, as uh, as you can see here, let me just get something a little slimmer than my finger, is uh, it. I wanted to have a timer here on, uh, you know, so that when I fly, I can, uh, you know, just flip a switch and it'll have a countdown timer rather than playing around with a countdown timer on my watch. So anyway, the first time I did it, uh, didn't work out all that well. I didn't. I wasn't all that patient, and I hadn't done quite a bit of research. So. Um, since then, I'll actually I'll have a link actually below to um, a thread I started on the RC Powers uh, website uh, about how how I essentially did the firmware upgrade. I'm not going to show you how I did the firmware upgrade. It's fairly uh, simple. I uh, I picked up one of these uh, cables from Banggood. Um, this part goes into the back of the transmitter. This one goes into my computer uh, via USB. That cost me about four dollars. Uh, worked really really well so you can you can see the details on how I did that including the links to get where I got the firmware uh, on the uh, RC powers uh, thread that I started um, one of my frustrations when I first tried it was I couldn't seem to figure out how to get the timer to work properly so uh, I did quite a bit more research read through there's a, a very long thread on RC groups I think about 229 pages which I'll have linked below uh, watched a few more YouTube videos and then just sat down with my uh, my patience pants on and uh, just kind of figured it out on my own so uh, I'll just go into uh, so to the new menu, this this is actually a whole different uh, screen here, startup screen. Now, everything I'm going to show you here so far, it only works with uh, the AFHDS 2A uh, mode in the receiver, which you have to use, or the transmitter, which uh, you know goes with these uh, receivers that have the twin uh, antennas. Um, you know, one of the reasons that I picked this up was that I can run it with this uh, single antenna. Uh, receiver which I use from Hobby King with my uh, uh, Turnigy 9X but it does not seem to allow me to use the timer when I'm in the uh, the receiver mode for AF AFHDS so the or the single antenna uh, receiver so uh, anyway so I'm gonna, just gonna go get into the uh, menus here uh, so pretty much everything is uh, very similar uh, then you get down to this uh, here called uh, extra so press on OK so the first uh, selection is timer press on timer now what I have I, I have it um, uh, I just put it on uh, channel 10 actually let's go back let's do this do it this way first so um, this is the only uh, one of the only new uh, selections you have in the functions menu so now you can see it goes down to channel 10 so what I did on mine oops uh, this is another menu where you, you scroll down using the OK button and in channel 10 I selected switch D which is this switch up here it's labeled um, that's going to be my timer switch on my on my 9x uh, I have my my throttle kill switch over here and my timer switch over here so that's why I programmed it this way so I have switch D selected for channel 10 so that will activate uh, channel 10 okay so let's go back so extra now this is where it got confusing for me you can see this this uh, here that says value 1100 it goes in increments of 10 from 10 to 2200 if I had it at 10, as soon as I turned the transmitter on, didn't matter what else I had set, the timer would start counting down, which is not really what I wanted. And then if I put it all the way up to 2200, I'm, you know, I'm trying to figure out what these things mean, it wouldn't uh, activate on the switch. So I split the difference and I went with 1100. And then you, come, you can uh, scroll down. Oops. What you do is you... Uh, um, you know once you have the value selected if you want to change it it goes in increments of 10 like I mentioned you just use your up and down over here 
and then to set the timer and the alarm now I can only set it it only goes in 10 second in increments so just for this video I have it set uh, at uh, 10 seconds all right so let's get um, let's get out of that okay so now if I'm flying you know I launch my plane and I flip my switch down now you can see up here that it's uh, counting it's actually counting up now it doesn't um, um, okay we'll just let it go off so it's it's not that loud it goes off about every two seconds now it doesn't shut off with the switch you actually have to press and hold cancel so now it's it's uh, it's off now if you shut turn it on and then you reset it press and hold the cancel it will go back to zero and then just start over again so if you don't want it to keep going off all the time uh, you know shut the switch off reset it now obviously when I'm flying I may have to press this if I want to turn it off you know it's beeping and I don't want it continually beeping as I'm trying to concentrate on landing my plane uh, I'll probably have to remember to press this twice because once the back screen light goes off you have to press a button uh, to you know and the back screen light comes on and then the button will uh, be activated so uh, yeah so that was pretty simple so again I've, I've just selected it to a switch and uh, and away we go now it the strange thing is I'm not going to go through it all if you go into if, if I was to select this model as an AF HDS so using the single antenna receiver uh, it does have a timer set up so you can you can set it up but then it doesn't work so uh, so unfortunately um, I, I think it's for me anyway unless there's some other way of hacking it or doing it it's gonna need me to use these uh, twin antenna receivers now you know my ER9X is still fine but I don't know if I wanted to use this as a backup for a few planes these are actually not uh, terribly expensive uh, receivers uh, Banggood I think you can get them for ten or twelve dollars and I looked a little bit around uh, American and I looked around eBay might even be, go be able to get them for a little cheaper okay so one thing that I did notice after I updated the firmware uh, which I mentioned in my in my uh, post from on the RC powers forum was that I couldn't uh, I had a real uh, problem getting it to bind so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut my um, transmitter off I'm gonna put a bind plug in the bind port of my receiver um, all right plug in a battery so you can see hopefully you can see right here there's a little uh, flashing red light okay meaning that it's in bind mode now normally um, you would press down on this bind key hold turn it on it says RX binding but this light just continues to flash so I found um, by, by uh, uh, the magic of YouTube I found there's actually a secret menu in this uh, transmitter so what you need to do is take the two sticks, hold them down to their far left corners, turn it on, and now you get this menu, it's called Factory. So we're going to go down at the very bottom here, there's a selection that says Bind, and uh, right, right here at the very bottom. So you can still see the light is flashing, and I'm going to press OK. Okay, receiver binding boom so there you go so now the little light went solid so now I'm bound so then we do like we would normally do take the power out take that out turn that off and then when we come back turn it back on again we go back to our normal menu not to our to our secret menu and there we are now I've got a solid red light and my my uh, receiver is bound so uh, yeah so there there we go um, you know that's that's about uh, as simple as it, as it is for me so I'm not going to go over any of the other features that came with the uh, with the down with the firmware upgrade because none of those uh, were really important to me primarily I just you know I just wanted to have uh, a countdown timer and uh, so it looks like um, uh, that's working now so anyway um, like I said, uh, please uh, check the comments down below. Uh, you'll find the link to how I 
did the firmware upgrade. Uh, I would strongly encourage you, if you haven't already, if you have one of these transmitters or if you're thinking of buying one, is pick up this uh, this cable um, so that you can do the firmware upgrades. Um, it just makes life uh, uh, really, really uh, easy. So again, it only seems to work properly with these uh, twin antenna uh, receivers or the AFHDS2A uh, mode. It didn't seem to work. Uh, like I mentioned, I tried everything. It did not seem to work with the uh, with these single uh, antenna receivers. So uh, there we go. So there's my experience in getting the timer setting up with uh, set up with the firmware upgrade and how I had to then go about and bind the uh, receiver now using the uh, secret menu. Um, all, all pretty straightforward, but uh, until uh, you know you watch somebody else do it or you just hack around and figure it out yourself, it's uh, not exactly intuitive, and of course it's not in the uh, in the manual. So there we go. Again, please check out comments down below, um, and uh, thanks very much for watching. Blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Park jet noise, the other sound of freedom, baby. Take care.